It's another exciting episode of Nan Weekly Gist. Hello and welcome. Look no further because we are spilling the tea one story at a time and I am your host Lenient with my co-host Anita. Let's dive right in. The joy of clear sight. You remember the 10 day free eye cataract camp in Abuja? Yes. Yeah, it just concluded. Oh, and wow. the beneficiaries cannot stop singing the praises of no Dubai Foundation intervention. They thanked the organization for surgically restoring their sight and expressed gratitude for the life changing interventions. What joy they must be feeling. Yes. No, we really need more interventions like this. And I love the fact that they came out to appreciate the no Dubai Foundation. You know, that's a very bold step. Very. Let's find expression in always thanking anyone for the little things they do for you because it's very important. The more you thank people, the more they want to do more. No, it, it would actually make me start thanking you more no, for I the think little it things. Be, it do. should be the other way. I can't no, thank no, you. I started it first. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The Non Governmental Association Literacy Support Services is bridging the digital skill gap in Nigeria through community participation and intergenerational learning. Interesting. They're empowering children and youth with digital competencies for sustainable livelihood. Community leaders and youth also embrace this initiative, seeing it as a solution to educational problem and a key to remaining relevant in today's global community. Well, kudos to no girls. You never can tell where the next Bill Gates is coming from, so you need to catch them young and equip them with as many skills as possible. You know, this skill thing that has been going on for the past few months and this year in general, it's actually a good thing. Because, yes, it is. Um, if you're learning a skill either for money or for fun, it's really impressive to have at least two or more skills that would help you mm. further well in life. Especially really. in Nigeria, you have to have a skill. <laughs> I say no more. We do. <laughs> Moving on, a new agribusiness and food processing hub in Ibadan is set to train farmers, youth, and people with disabilities to commercialize their produce. Wow. Everyone needs to be carried along, and the Oyo State government has pledged to support small and medium enterprises, particularly in agribusiness, to help them flourish. Now, the Oyo State is really doing well for her people. Oh, I know, right? Yes. It's still the, um, last week also, they um, yep. equipped... Um, artisans, like giving them how much again? Over 250 million naira. They're really, they're they're really doing well. trying. The government is committed to empowering youth with innovative ideas and providing resources for growth. This is a game changer for the SMEs. Yes. Nigeria's public service future lies in reforms and innovation, says the Bureau of Public Service Reform, DG Dr. Dasuki Arabi. Reforms will improve the governance, economic growth, and citizens' well-being. The Bureau's strategy will focus on institutional, public finance, social economic, and civil service reforms. Well... Surveys will also assess the impact and identify the areas for improvement. This is a good one for her people, actually. Nigeria is really doing well with reforms and innovations. I'll try and we'll get there soon. Very soon, please. Very, very soon. Speaking of getting there soon and all that, Nigeria is taking a giant leap into the future with 5G technology. Wow. Okay. Yeah. The government has signed an MOU with Ericsson to establish a 5G innovation lab, boosting um, technological capabilities and productivity. This partnership will drive economic growth, improve lives, and position Nigeria as a leader in 5G adoption in Africa. Exciting times ahead. At least the awareness of 5G being on the way will make some of us who are still line with 3g to move up or to 4g no, and then just, looking I'm forward now, to 5g I'm in, you're still in 3g no, i'm now in, I'm 4G. in 4g please you're looking forward to 5g i've left you guys over okay there. okay <laughs> <laughs> and now to the exchange rates us dollar to naira is 1656 naira for two cobalt but the central bank of nigeria as of today october 25th 2024 it started the week at 1000 640 naira, 3, 4 kobo. This indicates a 0.98% rise for dollar. Only God will help us because I don't know. Mm. Okay. 
Well, that's a wrap for today. Stay informed and keep learning until we meet again next week. Thank you.